the problem or disease of the enlarged liver, hepatomegaly, is one of the diseases that have spread widely in recent times. Research indicates that about 25% of Americans suffer from fatty liver disease, which causes an enlargement of the liver and spleen muscle, or as it is known in medical terms an enlarged liver, which means swelling of the liver. Or an increase in the size of the liver muscle than the normal size, which results either from the presence of inflammation or the occurrence of weakness or fatigue in this muscle. This muscle has the most important and more than one basic function in the body, as it helps to clean the blood of toxins by removing harmful chemicals that harm our bodies, and it also manufactures liquid bile that helps break down fats in food and store sugar, in addition to being responsible for supplying the body with glucose, which gives us energy whenever we need it. What you must know is that whoever suffers from an enlarged liver problem must obtain quick treatment because neglecting treatment can lead to damage to that sensitive muscle. Hepatomegaly What can cause an enlarged liver? The most common causes of an enlarged or enlarged liver are Alcoholic liver disease or alcoholic hepatitis is a frequent cause of symptoms of an enlarged liver, which is caused by excessive alcohol intake and often accompanies fatty liver, which is the initial stage of alcoholic liver disease. Viral hepatitis, which includes hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E can also lead to an enlarged liver. Cancer can also be caused by an enlarged liver spreading from one organ to another and from one organ to another, all the way to the liver. Studies also show that overusing medication or using medication in the wrong way can cause liver damage, so it's important to follow your prescription instructions carefully. The less common causes of an enlarged or enlarged liver are. Research indicates that there are indirect causes that may contribute to an enlarged liver in addition to some diseases that affect other organs. Here are some of the indirect factors that can affect the liver. Some types of blood cancers. Some types of lymphoma cancer. Multiple myeloma. Genetic diseases, Wilson's disease, Gaucher disease, glycogen storage diseases. Cardiovascular problems. Infection, liver abscess, relapsing fever. Liver damage due to the accumulation of toxins. Systemic diseases, amyloidosis, autoimmune hepatitis, primary biliary cirrhosis, primary sclerosing cholangitis. Malnutrition can also put people at risk of developing the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease is just as it sounds like the accumulation of too much fat in the liver cells. What happens is that fatty tissue builds up in the liver when it exceeds the diet. The individual has the amount of fat that the body can process or absorb. When the percentage of fat reaches at least 5% in the liver, you definitely have a fatty liver problem. Little fat in the liver does not necessarily lead to liver damage, but the problem or danger occurs if simple fat accumulates. The accumulation of simple fats can lead to inflammation and even an enlarged liver. What are the symptoms that indicate an enlarged liver problem? Most people who suffer from an enlarged liver do not have direct symptoms, but sometimes we find people with an enlarged liver show some symptoms, including feeling tired, weakness, fatigue, and a sense of digestive disorders, and the excess fat may cause inflammation, 
loss of appetite and a decrease in weight in addition to the emergence of other symptoms the most common are considered as pain in the upper right part of the abdomen feeling of muscle pain nausea and vomiting jaundice yellowing of the skin abdominal swelling bleeding in the gums bloody or clay colored stools diarrhea other symptoms of hepatomegaly are less common but still occur in some people and these symptoms include headache itchy skin loss of body hair irregular menstruation in women red palms and signs of wounds Diagnosis of an enlarged liver problem and treatment options. Clarity of the problem. Disease diagnosis. Unfortunately, the problem of an enlarged liver may occur and worsen unnoticed until after the situation worsens. So when we feel the signs of the disease, it is preferable to visit a specialist doctor for advice and the doctor is likely to perform a general physical examination, which includes pressure on the right side of the abdomen to feel the size of the liver. The enlarged place in the liver determines whether there is any softness in it. The basic diagnosis of hepatomegaly requires a close and comprehensive look at the liver muscle and this is done through the use of a device equipped with a computer that sends ultrasound waves, CT scans, or magnetic resonance imaging. In some cases, ERCP technology is used. This technique is an endoscope that is used within a special scope in order to check for any problems in the tubes that carry bile. Liver cell samples may also be taken to check for fatty liver disease or cancer. The most important tips and foods to prevent the problem of enlarged liver. Certainly, none of us wants to reach the stage where he needs an organ transplant, and as we mentioned earlier that the liver is a vital organ and it is one of the organs that can never be dispensed with, so it is necessary to take care of our bodies in order to reduce the risk of diseases such as disease hepatomegaly. So here are the following tips. Eat healthy food such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Drink alcohol in moderation. Reducing medication in a random manner. Avoid interactions of medicines with other chemicals. Maintain a reasonable and healthy weight. We must be fully aware that in the absence of the liver, the body becomes unable to perform some vital functions, such as processing nutrients such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals, or eliminating toxins in the blood, and thus the inability to protect us from clots, so it is necessary to pay attention to the quality of the food being taken, so let's get acquainted with the most important foods that are beneficial for liver health.